Revelation 4320, from the 1st of June 1948. The present time will lead to the end. And time and again I say to you, you will experience the end. It is an urgent wake-up call which I send to people who presently inhabit the earth, it is a call which I will still intensify because you need to let go of your conviction that you still have much time left, because you need to spend thought on a sudden end and try to come close to me. You have only little time left and very soon will be startled out of your calm, fear will enter your hearts which you can only banish by calling upon me, by faithful prayer which will provide you with strength and composure. The time is fulfilled, and even if you resist this thought, you must prepare yourselves for whatever the end entails. It is you who will experience the last battle, who ought to win it, it is you who will experience the last judgment, who will either see my coming in the clouds and the homecoming of the righteous or the final act of destruction take place, depending on your attitude towards me depending on your will and your love. It is you who must make a decision since you will not be able to enter the kingdom of the beyond after your death if you side with the adversary, but you will have to repeat the process through the creation of the new earth according to my eternal counsel. Do not expect the end in the future, get used to the idea that the present time will lead to the end, that you will be affected and that everything will come upon you as seers and prophets predicted according to my will. I can only ever draw your attention to it and as confirmation of my word speak to you from above, and I will implement it shortly because there is not much time until the end. I will inform you, whose will to serve me made you my own, once again of this just before the end, so that you will not experience the day unprepared, for even though you believe that my word is truth you are still not taking my prediction seriously enough you are still counting on reprieve and not on my speedy arrival which, however, is about to happen to you. Yet you will yearn for my arrival when the time of the battle of faith comes and you enter the last stage of this earthly period. Then you will have learned to despise the world, you will have no further desire for earthly possessions, you will only yearn for my word, and I will also always be with you in the word and comfort you until the day when I will appear in the clouds when your adversity has reached huge proportions and help can only come from me. You must take it for granted that you will experience this time if I won't recall this or that servant of mine prematurely, according to wise judgment. You will all be surprised as to how quickly events will unfold, which I predicted long in advance through the voice of the Spirit. And once I appear the end will come upon you with giant strides. Anyone who is profoundly faithful will inwardly rejoice despite hardship and suffering, for he will know that he will be compensated one day, that sooner or later all adversity will have an end and that a new era will start again with the paradise, as I have promised. Amen.